There's a reason why companies spend millions of dollars each year just for a few seconds of advertisement during the Super Bowl. But the thing is, not every business owner has millions of dollars to spend for commercials. So in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you how to increase your brand awareness and get millions of views for your account using social media. But before I do, if this is your first time here, welcome, my name is Mark, and on this channel, I help simplify all things marketing. In business, brand awareness is everything. Without it, potential clients and customers won't know you exist. And if in their head they don't know you exist, there's no way they can do business with you, let alone follow you on Instagram or like any of your posts because you just simply don't exist in their mind. Unfortunately, even if your product or service is better than the competition, whoever gets the most brand awareness will always win. And if you want to win, the easiest and best way to do that is to follow trends. Am I telling you to follow trends and challenges like lip syncing a song or doing the ice bucket challenge? Yes. Yes, I am. You see, when there's trends like the Milk Crate Challenge, social media platforms are going to push that content because if a large amount of users find that content entertaining or valuable, it's in the platform's best interest to continue to push that content so users stay on the platform longer. And if we're trying to get as much brand awareness as Super Bowl advertisers, then this is the path of least resistance. Also, I looked up how much money these advertisers spend during the Super Bowl for a 30 second commercial and it blew my mind. On average, a business is going to spend six to seven million dollars for 30 seconds worth of advertisement. I couldn't believe this, but this just goes to show that following trends is going to be the path of least resistance and also the cheapest path you can take when it comes to increasing your brand awareness. All of these videos right here have gained millions of views, increased their brand exposure, all because they followed a trend. Especially this one right here, that's me. And here's the thing, not all trends are going to be appropriate for your brand or the vibe you're going for. For example, if I'm a marketing agency and I'm selling advertising services, I probably wouldn't do the cinnamon challenge because the cinnamon challenge has nothing to do with what I'm offering, it has nothing to do with my industry as well. And on the other hand, there's gonna be trends and challenges just like the milk crate challenge that is a little too dangerous to attempt and honestly, shouldn't even be trending in the first place. But there are some trends that anyone can do that are relevant to your industry and that are actually fun to make. Just like this one right here. This was something that was trending, so I decided to put my own twist on it, ride the wave, and participate in something that was trending. Or even this one right here. The overall concept was to highlight something that you're addicted to in your industry and do this little dance right here. So that's exactly what I did. I thought about what is something that's relevant to my industry, put my own twist on it, did my little dance, and I ended up getting nearly 5.4 million views on this one video. Now, did this cost me six or seven million dollars? No, it costed me nothing. Okay, we already know the benefits of creating content around what's trending. It's going to give you a leg up on the competition, especially when your competitors are still making Happy National Dog Day graphics from Canva. But even though trending content might help you get on the same playing field as Super Bowl advertisers, there are some pitfalls that you need to be aware of. The first one is timing. Trends are short-lived. This means if you see something trending on Instagram or TikTok today, you need to create that piece of content tomorrow. Because if you wait a month or even a week later, then that trend might be over. That's like me doing the renegade right now. On top of people saying, what the heck is that? People are going to see me as outdated and I promise you, the platform will not push my content and I'm not going to get the brand awareness that I hoped for. Partially because the trend happened a few years ago and partially because I'm a stiff dancer. The second pitfall we need to look out for is relevancy. I understand that every trend that we want to participate in is going to be relevant to our audience or our industry, but it's going to take some time for us to figure out how we can make a trend work for us. Like the video I made that went viral, I had no idea what I wanted to do, but I sat down, spent some time, thought about, hey, what's something in my industry that could be addicting? And I made that video. Taking the time to actually think about how I can take this trend and incorporate it into my industry paid off. And look, when I say I, I spent some time thinking about it, I literally spent like five to 10 minutes. It, it doesn't take that much time to actually do that. But look, trends are something that's going to evolve over time. I mean, we have some trends that are just lip syncing songs. We have some trends that are dancing. We have some trends that are challenges. But the thing is, 
trans will always be there. And trans are also the reason why some of us spend hours in bed watching videos with the same sound over and over and over again. Or maybe that's just me. Well, if this video helped you out, do me a favor, like this video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you on the next video.